This month, Vivo announced that the latest addition to their Y series lineup, the Vivo Y100, is finally coming here in the Philippines. And with that, we got an opportunity to get a sample for me to share with you an unboxing and features overview. The Vivo Y100 is touted to be a smartphone that not only can last for hours on end, but can also be recharged quicker than an episode of your favorite Korean drama. With a decent 5,000 mAh of battery and 80 watts power brick partnered with the supercharged pump technology, rest assured that the Vivo Y100 can last you the entire day and more. Now aside from that, it is also powered by an efficient Snapdragon 685 chipset with 8GB of RAM, 256GB of ROM, and of course a massive 6.67-inch Full HD Plus AMOLED Dutch display that can reach up to 120Hz refresh rate and up to 1200 nits of brightness. It also has a dual steer speaker with an audio booster up to a whopping 300% level, so media consumption would definitely be a blast. All of this in a variety of stylish photochromic designs. With that said, let me go ahead and share with you what you should expect from Vivo's latest Y series offering. Let's get into it. As always, honest disclaimer, this video is in partnership with Vivo to give you an early preview of what the Vivo Y100 has to offer. Let's start with a quick unboxing experience. The Vivo Y100 came in a clean white box with some branding and key specifications around it. What I have here is the timeless crystal black variant. Inside the box, we have the Vivo Y100 itself, a free jelly case, a couple of paperwork, the 80 watts flash charge power brick, the charging cable, and a SIM ejector pin. At first look and touch, the Vivo Y100 offers a relatively slim form factor with flat sides and curved corners and boasts robust build quality weighing around 186 grams. While it's on the larger side of things, it's still operable in one hand. Here in front, we have a 6.67 inch Ultra Vision AMOLED Dutch display with Full HD Plus resolution, 120Hz refresh rate, and up to 1200 nits of brightness with an under display fingerprint reader. The display's image quality is one of the things that strikes me the most about this Vivo Y100. The colors are vibrant, and the details and sharpness are superb with a very decent viewing angle. It's a joy to play games and consume content with this smartphone. We also have here the 8MP selfie camera, the subtle earpiece, and a pre-applied screen protector. Now looking at the left side, we don't have anything here, but at least you get a good look at those sleek flat sides, albeit a fingerprint magnet glossy finish. On the other side, we have all the buttons, the volume rocker and the power button, nicely placed in a familiar and easy to access location. Up top, we only have the secondary microphone, and finally at the bottom, we have the SIM card slot, the primary microphone, the USB Type-C port, and the primary speaker. Now, flipping it all over at the back, you'll see a sort of two-texture design here with the majority of it featuring a nice 3D crystal texture with a subtle diamond pattern and a smooth glossy finish around the camera system. Speaking of the camera system, we have three camera modules here with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, and a flicker sensor. Here are some sample photos before we move on. Now, I mentioned earlier that the Vivo Y100 is a pleasant companion when it comes to media consumption. And that's not only because of the amazing display, but also because of the decent steer speakers that can blast up to 300% volume. Here's a sample sound test. Alright, so let's do a quick sound test for the Vivo Y100. As for the user interface, we have the FunTouch 14 OS based on Android 14, and for the most part, it is relatively smooth, responsive, and with just a few pre installed apps. We have everything from the app drawer, widgets, and quick drop down shortcuts, all in a familiar location. Performance wise, aside from the fact that you can take advantage of the substantial internal storage to extend the RAM up to 8GB, the Vivo Y100 is also powered by a Snapdragon 685 chipset, which results in decent performance to say the least. 
While it won't run highly graphic intensive games at maximum settings, you can still play popular games at a comfortable level. Call of Duty Mobile is playable at low settings and high frame rate, quite smooth I would say. Mobile Legends is also fairly smooth even at the highest available settings. And of course, casual games like Subway Surfer and Zombie Tsunami are a joy to play with using the Vivo Y100. Though I must admit, heavier games like Genshin Impact and Diablo Immortal are a bit of a challenge. Still playable at low settings with slight hiccups here and there. Overall, if you're just a casual gamer, the Vivo Y100 is still fairly capable. As for the stat nerds out there, here are some benchmarks that I ran for the Vivo Y100. As I alluded to earlier, the Vivo Y100 is marketed towards longevity, reliability, and safety. With the 80W flash charge technology as per specifications, you can charge the Vivo Y100 up to 80% in just half an hour with up to 97.5% efficiency thanks to the supercharge pump feature. As per my quick testing, battery life lasts up to 11 hours with a total screen time of around 8 to 9 which is absolutely outstanding. I was also able to charge it from 10% to 100% in just under an hour. So yeah, again, like I said, it can easily last you the entire day. And there you have it guys, that was the unboxing and features overview of the Vivo Y100. And hopefully, you will be able to get a thing or two about what to expect on this relatively affordable smartphone. Again, this video is in partnership with Vivo, so this is definitely not a full review. The Vivo Y100 will be available here in the Philippines for as low as 12,499 Philippine pesos on Vivo's official website and online stores. I'll put some links below if you're interested. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you appreciate this video, and see you next time. Have a great day, Brawlies. You're awesome.